Thanks for coming back to learn more about Pi. Lastly, but certainly not leastly, when you look at the specifics of the Social Security and Health Insurance Trust Funds, Pi is a huge change. When you look at the chart, you can see that under the current forecast, we have Social Security running its own individual deficit of over 30 billion a year and going up to over 350 billion a year in deficits by 2029. That's huge. And it's exhausting the Social Security trust fund rapidly. You can just see where it is uh, showing the numbers are in 2029. And all you have to do is look at a, two or three years beyond that and you can see that the trust fund is gone. Similarly, for the health insurance, which is the Medicare Part A, has a similar problem with the trust fund going bankrupt in the not too distant future. So what PI does, because it collects more revenue directed to both Social Security and to Medicare Part A than the payroll tax does for the individual portion of payroll taxes, PI extends the life of the Social Security program and helps the Medicare Part A to also achieve a longer life for the trust fund before bankruptcy. At least 10 years in each case, and as indicated earlier, by that time, we are into where the demographics start to uh, turn favorable, meaning the, the baby boomers that were born in uh, 1946 and then another wave in 1956 have all gotten to where they are either starting to pass away or have passed away or are using are, are no longer heavy users of Social Security uh, and therefore are no longer heavy users of Social Security or Medicare Part A. So it could potentially, PI could in fact save both Social Security and Medicare uh, Part A for an undetermined long time into the future, but certainly well over a decade minimum. If you like pie, call your representative and senators and tell them you support it. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below.